everybody. This is Danilo Cuellar from PeacefulAnarchism.com out here in the magnificent nature with you all once again. So a dead tree was taken down off my property a few weeks ago and the men uh, chopped it up with chainsaws, the branches and the trunk, and purposefully left it on my property because we asked them to because we have a fireplace and so now we have a lot of free wood and I've been spending a lot of my free time splitting this wood with a maul M-A-U-L and we've been making many fires in our fireplace just in time for the cold winter months and I've realized some interesting uh, lessons from this and that is that there is a certain progression that must occur in in the knowledge in the acquisition and absorption of knowledge so just as in a fire when one is making a fire first you start with the most basic aspect something that's highly flammable be it paper be it dried leaves matches starter fire starter what have you and and then you put on the very small twigs in the hopes that those small twigs will catch that fire and transmit it and then you put on small branches and you hope they will catch and you put on medium branches large branches and you put on small logs medium logs large logs and so there must be a progression to building a fire and it must be respected continue to feed a fire small twigs and it will never grow to magnificent proportions add a large log too quickly and you will snuff out the small fire so there there is a balance there is a process that must be followed that must be respected and there is no rushing a fire there is only patience and dedication and perseverance and I see an analogy with this and learning any skill any discipline but we'll take the example of transmitting the ideas of voluntarism and free market capitalism to those who are ignorant of them and to someone who has never heard these principles before, we do not start with complex concepts. We don't come out and say, or people who are ignorant of economics, law of marginal utility, <laughs> or police in a stateless society. <laughs> no, those are details to be ironed out after the initial theory is understood. Start with the basics. What is morality? What is right and wrong? What is capitalism? What is government? What is law? What is taxation? What is a politician? Basic definitions are the kindling, the preparation for establishing a fire in the mind. We need to plant seeds of liberty in the, those that we meet, those that we interact with. Don't give them too much. Don't scare them away. Start slow. When morality, when basic morality is understood, and it is a simple concept, many things follow from that. When the initiation of force is understood, when theft is understood, many things follow from that. So it is not necessary to shock and surprise people by saying we don't need government, we don't need politicians, we don't need laws, we don't need taxes. No. Those are conclusions that must be reached by the ignorant, by those people who do not know these concepts. And they said you can give a person some books but you can't force them to read so you want to present them the kindling the beginning spark the embers of fire in their mind the curiosity to learn something new to learn what exactly is this thing called central banking what exactly is currency do we need the Federal Reserve to control our money supply do we need laws for if not we would be savages brutal and aggressive do we need taxes lest we have no services that we can benefit from or lest poor and the indigent will suffer and starve no these are details that can be ironed out after the theory is understood the theory is the groundwork the theory is the kindling get that down first establish basic definitions do not go forward with complex concepts always start with the basics start with the fundamentals this is how you master any field, chess, master it, 
right? Learning the basic rules, basic strategy, basic tactics, basic terminology, music, same thing. Music, you need to learn what's a third, what's a fourth, what's a chord, scales. In any discipline, you always start with the basics. Don't be in a hurry to jump to the complex. You will only frighten those around you who would otherwise be interested in what you have to say. Give them the benefit of the doubt that they are curious and that they do want to know. Always assume the best. Thank you very much for listening. This is Danilo Cuellar from PeacefulAnarchism.com. Enjoy beautiful nature. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more of it, please feel free to donate and help me interview other fascinating people. You can do so through Patreon. That's patreon.com slash peaceful anarchism to help me out. A dollar a show is all I ask. If you feel so inclined to donate more, please feel free. It will only assist me in spreading the message of freedom and volunteerism that much farther and that much more efficiently. You can also donate to my Bitcoin. My Bitcoin address is in the description to my videos as well as on my website, peacefulanarchism.com. And while you're on my site, there's a donate button to donate through PayPal. If you prefer to donate through PayPal, you can do so with that. But Patreon is a little bit easier for content creators as you can set up a recurring donation if you so desire. Also, while you're on my website, peacefulanarchism.com, please feel free to sign up, enter your email address, sign up for my newsletter, and you'll receive updates every time I post something, a video or an interview. I do not send out any spam. Or you can also follow me on Facebook under facebook.com slash peaceful anarchism or facebook.com slash Danilo Cuellar 3, I believe. Danilo Cuellar 3. So either, either one of those methods, if you are able to donate, I would be most appreciative. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you have a magnificent day.